Hello everyone. I hope you had a Merry Christmas and are going to have an awesome new year. Um, you're looking at dolls that are not Rainbow High, Shadow High, or Monster High. <laughs> and this is why if you don't want to start collecting different dolls and you want to stick to a brand or a couple of brands, you shouldn't watch other people's doll videos because it's very tempting. I did not even know about these dolls. I'm sure I saw them. Um, the na 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 surprise. I'm sure I saw them in Target as I was looking for Rainbow High or Shadow High. Um, I don't know how long they've been around. I know very little about them, but I'm sure I was just like laser focused on getting the dolls that I came to get and was kind of ignoring everything else. But I saw these on um, another video and I'll link the video below. It's um, ex Canadensis. I'm sure if you guys are watching my videos, you've seen hers because she does a lot of awesome doll videos. But she found these and they're the mini Na 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 Surprise. I guess they're very new and they're so freaking cute <laughs> that I was like, oh no, I could feel like collectors know what I'm talking about. You can sort of feel yourself wanting to collect something else and you're like, oh no, oh no, my wallet. <laughs> so um, from left to right, I'm, I'm, I'm having to use the cheat sheet, okay? Because, you know, I don't know the characters that well yet, but um, the first one I really wanted was the last one on the far right, but I've got Aspen Fluff on the far left and then Catherine Whiskers and then Roxy Foxy, which I have a, I have a dog. He's actually a Pomeranian Chihuahua mix, but he looks like a little fox. And so I had to have Roxy Foxy. Um, then we have Tuesday Meow and of course, Brittany Sparkles, who I absolutely love. She was the one that I had to have. She's so freaking adorable. I love their little faces. Oh my God, they're so cute. And the little shoes and the socks, her rainbow hair, just everything. She's everything. Are you gonna stand up for me? She's like, maybe. Anyway, so seeing those and seeing how cute they were and going to get some in the store made me realize, I guess, I researched a little more and I realized that, you know, obviously if these are minis, then there's bigger versions. <laughs> this is where the trouble started. <laughs> so I was like, oh my gosh, I want the big versions of all of these because they're so freaking cute and I'm not done. I want to collect the rest of them, of the minis and everything. But my problem is I'm a very completist type of collector because I started out collecting music uh, before I got into various types of dolls. And it's really hard for me to not do like in the box and out of box. So I have a backup if something happens. It's like, I almost don't want to interact with my dolls unless I have that backup. It's very strange, but it started with me collecting music and having some very rare stuff that there weren't very many of. And so I didn't even really want to touch it unless I had a backup. So anyway, Long story short, I've realized that I absolutely love the the Na 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 dolls. The original ones are cloth and these ones are vinyl, but I'm not normally a cloth doll person. Um, I remember Cabbage Patch Kids. This will tell you how old I was, but I remember before they were the Cabbage Patch Kids you see now, they were a cloth version and I really didn't care for those at the time, even though they were very sought after. I just didn't like cloth dolls, but for some reason, these dolls, I just love them. So it started with these, okay? And then I saw that they had a chihuahua. A chihuahua, okay? Like, I know it's kind of giving off pig vibes, but it's a chihuahua. This is Victoria Grand. And she is the smaller version. And I just had to have her because chihuahua. And so, of course, that led me down another rabbit hole. And now I'm seeing that they make even bigger sizes. Let me scoot this back just a little bit so you can see her better. There we go. They make even bigger sizes. So I had to have some of those. So I'm going to show you <laughs> what I just bought. I'm so excited. I really, there's just something about these dolls. I like the fact that they're different than the Rainbow and the Shadow High and the Monster High. And I only have the older versions of Monster High. I don't really care for the new ones, unfortunately. I want to, but I just can't get into it. But anyways, 
I am loving these little cloth dolls and she's on a little stand. I'll link the stand. She's a seven and a half inch one. I'll link the stand that I have her on. It's around her neck. Um, that was a tip that I got from my world from Melissa. And um, I'm, I have to say, I love the fact that YouTube exists and I can see what other doll collectors are doing and their tips and tricks. It's so valuable as a new collector to certain brands I'm so excited and I love watching that stuff. I love watching box openings before I get, you know, so I can look at them. And so anyways, I'm, I'm rambling cause I'm really excited, <laughs> but I'm going to show you what I got. And, uh, obviously now I'm also going to be collecting these type of dolls and I'm super stoked. So these little dolls, <laughs> as it always happens, have now led to this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I also, you can see the Christmas tree in the background. I turned the lights off because it's pretty bright. But um, I also want the, the other one. Um, I can't remember her name off the top of my head. But she's got the black bunny hat. and She has kind of a more gothic vibe. But I just love these dolls. I, I'm really shocked because I'm not, like I said, typically into like the cloth dolls. But Oh my gosh, they're so freaking cute. So I'm going to open, um, who is she? This is terrible. I can't remember. I'll put it in the description. I'll put a link in the description to where I got her, but I'm so excited. Like, I think in my mind, I kind of saw these as toys, which they're all toys really, but, um, these just have such a unique vibe being fashion dolls, but also being cloth and I don't know they're just very charming so I think I'm just justifying this to myself because this is a whole other area of dolls I already make reborn dolls and collect reborn dolls mostly monsters and fantasy but and now I've got the the monster high the rainbow high the shadow high <laughs> now this. so I don't know I'm just I'm so taken by these little these little na 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 dolls I think they're so interesting and such a cool, such a cool type of doll. So but anyway, I'm going to open this big one. I'm so excited. So here it is out of the box. It came with instructions, which I've seen a couple people do the confetti thing. I'm not really wanting to get glitter everywhere. So we're going to see, <laughs> or confetti, whatever. Same thing. So this is the inside. And here's the little straw. Oh boy. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Whoop. Sit back up there. It doesn't want to. There we go. <laughs> Wish me luck. Never done this before. speed through this part and I might cheat and just cut it we'll see so the straw goes in there oh did I put it too far hold on I think I'm going to cheat and just cut it. Is that evil? Because I don't want confetti all over it. All right. So, inside, we've got lots of little surprises, even though they're not surprises to me because I've watched so many videos now. <laughs> Let's see, are you going to stay there? Stay there. Alright. So, this first one, I'm pretty sure is the handle. Yeah. This is the little carabiner handle with the kitty ears. Oh my god. Like, 
the cuteness. So we've got that. has a little halter top so cute set that there and I'm really not um, out here trying to be a doll channel necessarily for like um, this is mainly just for me it's for me to like um, just chronicle my journey. Look, it's a little rainbow jacket. Oh my god. I love the rainbow. It's so pastel and pretty and cute. Anyway, this is mostly just for me to like see how bad I was sparkling when I bought certain things, but it's fun. It's fun to look back. Um, I've been in some sort of doll hobby for the past over a decade now and it's just fun to look back and you know sort of see where you came from and when you started collecting certain things and like I don't know I think it's fun it's kind of like a journal here's a little dress it's a little scrunched you know but I think Melissa from my world was saying <laughs> she she wishes they wouldn't put them in these packages because it does scrunch them down quite a bit and I have to agree. But I love that dress. What is this? Oh, <laughs> I forgot about this. This is her little sweater with the little ribbons on the side. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, there's so many of these. And her hat. You know it's her hat because it's got the little thing. Her little kitty hat. And her skirt. See, is that the right way? I think so. Hold on. Hold on. There's her little skirt. It's so cute. Okay, so now we're going to open the actual doll. So we take this part off. And there are more surprises. Surprises are falling at my face. <laughs> Oh, where did I put that straw? Hold on. Maybe I can just clip these. I gotta be so careful because I don't want to cut. Oh, and there's more. <laughs> the uh, packaging is 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 a lot. I'm just saying. But I'm sure, like, if you're a little kid on Christmas or something. Oh my god, these are so cute. This would be so much fun, you know? Opening all these little presents inside presents. It'd be so fun. There's her little shoes. One pair of her little shoes. Come on, focus. It says purr. And they have kitties on the back. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> They're so cute, though. Little shoes. Oh my god, and these are the ones. These are the shoes, you guys. Oh my god. Look at these. They're little kittens. Look at the buckle. Like, I'm dead from the cuteness. So, so freaking adorable. I love them. I want some of these shoes. Like, I would rock those. Oh, her brush. We've got her cat brush. Gotta have the brush. And now we've got another, another thing that it wants to 
assault me with confetti, but I have outsmarted the system. <laughs> So inside this package, more packages, <laughs> more stuff. These are the cutest thing ever. I love that they included these. This one's wrapped in plastic for some reason. More plastic. Um, Come on out. They're slippers, but they're flocked. They're flocked. Look at the cuteness. Look. Oops, don't tip over. They're little flocked slippers. They're so adorable. Put those over here. These packages are truly like the gift that keeps on giving. If I could just figure out how to open this one. Okay, here we go. Oh, her glasses. See, I've watched this video, the videos of box openings of her, like a million times and I already forgot. I already forgot. It literally is a surprise. Because when you get to a certain age, guys, it, it is a surprise. <laughs> Oh, and her rockin' boots. I love these boots. I have to say, MGA, with the fake zippers that they do, I mean, it, it looks so cool. They look so cool. Love it. All right, now, drum roll. The part we've been waiting for, right? you just come out or no you're tied in okay hold on hold on okay i think that's it is that it are we free are we free oh my goodness we are okay Wow. Now, the only thing I will say, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. The only thing I will say about these dolls, MGA in general doesn't seem to have too many quality control issues. Um, I, I collected Monster High before, like I said, and there was a lot of issues there. You can see her pretty little underwears. She's so cute. I've seen a few of these dolls come with a messed up nose, and uh, that's the only thing that concerns me about not being able to see them in the package. And I know you can see some of the Na 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 dolls, but not these. But look, her little, her little feet. She is so adorable. So I'm gonna get her dressed, and uh, oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> She's so cute. I love her. I'm going to get her dressed in one of her outfits and I'll be back. Here she is, guys, with all of her stuff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she's so adorable. I cannot get over it. She's so, so cute. She's got little bling on her wrists. You see that? She's so so cute and there's all her stuff oh my gosh and i just noticed that her shoes say perfect <laughs> i can't get over the stall all the stuff she comes with she's really really beautiful really well made like the screen printing on her is beautiful i'm so so excited for this new like foray into these type of dolls um I'm, I'm having so much fun and that's what's important, right? So anyways, thanks to anyone who watched this and I hope you're having fun with your dolls. And if you have any questions, you can always ask me. My email is in the description. I'm also on Instagram under tea with foxes. So 
I'm way behind on doll photos and <laughs> updating with my collection, but um, I wanted to share this with you. And once again, I hope you have a wonderful, awesome, happy new year. Love you guys. Bye.